Hello, good afternoon to everyone. Welcome back to another edition of Chronic Pain, the Inner Demon. I am Raymond Nugent. How are you? Nice to see you guys on a Sunday. Um, fellas, um, I want to do another follow up on the vaccine. I did vaccine one. This is vaccine two, the follow up on vaccine. Um, the live stream I did um, a few days ago on the vaccine. Um, the way it looks right now, um, guys, um, it seems like this vaccine is going to be something that, you know, we all have to, you know, take eventually. Because I've been doing some research, you know, further than what I did in the last show. And um, so far, you know, there's one airline I already said, once the vaccine came out and you're not vaccinated, they're not going to be able to take you on their airplane, you know. So the way it's going to be, you know, going, it seems like, um, for example, you go to motor vehicles to get your license renewed, you know, you know, you have to be vaccinated to get your license renewed. You want to travel, you have to get, you know, you're vaccinated. You want to get certain jobs, you know, you have to get vaccinated. You know, your kids want to go to certain schools. I don't want to go to school. You know, you have to get vaccinated. So it seems like it's going to be somewhere in that ballpark where we have to, you know, make a decision. Either you want to live in society or you want to live out of society, you know. And um, I'm sure, you know, most of us want to live in society, you know. So in, in, in what I'm trying to say is that to get back to some kind of normalcy, it seems like that's the way we're going to have to go. Because even though this vaccine was developed at a fast rate, and I spoke about the analytics that, you know, it's so short and the short term um, effect that they already have, you know, we have to bear in mind that, you know, COVID came around almost a year ago, you know, so the vaccine, you know, developed, you know, on a fast pace with, you know, faster studies. And we're living in different times now, you know, not like in the 70s, you know, when we develop other vaccines, you see what I'm saying? So we have fat technology moving at a fast pace. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure the, the effects and the studies should take about, you know, almost the same amount of time because you have to follow certain principles, you know, and I'll leave that to the doctors to, um, you know, break it down for you guys. I'm just trying to, you know, tell you guys from my experience, you know what I mean? So, yeah. So um, with, with, with COVID just came around, it didn't really give them much room and much time to do like a wide range of study as far as long-term effect. You see what I'm saying? So I do understand now, you know, why they only could give us the truth about the short-term effect. You know, we have to understand that. You see what I'm saying? The long-term effect is pretty much unknown, you know, so they can't speak on it at the moment. I get that and I understand that. So it's up to us, you know, the, the, the public and the consumers, you know, whether we want to live in society and take this thing and try to, you know, beat it and fight it and life goes on or we want to stay in seclusion and wear a mask and just you know um just be isolated you see what i'm saying so pretty much that's what it was down to and um you know if it's going to save lives and save the um the, the disease from um keep transferring then you know hey um hats off you know what i mean um i i spoke about the three presidents that i highly respected you know in my last video President Obama, <clears throat> President Bush, and President Clinton. And if they truly take that vaccine, you know, on camera, then, hey, I'll give it some time and I'll go take myself. You know what I mean? Because um, I was doing some digging, and what I get to realize, guys, you know, when the first, when the polio vaccine came around first, um, it was the same type of, you know, uh, situation right now, like we're, you know, like we are living in right now, where people were undecided. You know, and um, <clears throat> from my research, I found out that Elvis Presley actually went on television and, um, you know, took the vaccine to um, show the public and the American people that um, the vaccine was safe enough, safe enough, you know, to take and try to control the spread of the polio um, uh, myelitis. You know, um, you remember that disease in the 70s, how he used to, you know, do people and make you look deformative and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So um, with all that said, I said to myself, you know what? Maybe there's some truth to um, a whole bunch of this because, you know, by putting it in perspective, you know, you see where the time was of the essence and um, things have to develop, you know, at a faster pace. You know, so um, 
I'm not going to be ignorant to the fact, you know, and um, I don't think you should either, you know, so we have to look at, you know, both sides and, um, you know, weigh the scale and see what side you really want to be on. Because you see um, the amount of lives that, you know, the um, CV-19 already took, you know, and um, people already, you know, right now in mass numbers in hospitals, you know, I really feel for those families, you know, um, because um, we shouldn't really have to live this way. And, um, you know, we see, you know, this, the higher rate of spikes in um, you know, pretty much every state right now in America. You know what I mean? So if this is our only resort uh, and to con learn how to contain this thing, then, hey, you know, we might have to give in, guys, and do what we have to do, you know, because life has to go on, you know, because um, we've been living in a standstill right now for almost a year. You know, that's very chronic. You know, people are living in, in isolation. You know, um, your kids can't really go to school like they normally go to school. You know, you can't go to work because, you know, your, your job is closed, you know, and, um, you know, there's no stimulus packages. So there's a lot of things going around in people's mind where, you know, it rattles your mind and it also um, causes, like, mental issues, you know. So in, in, in order for us to get into um, further depression, we might have to, um, you know, just take these vaccines and um, see if, you know, we could, um, you know, try to, um, you know, conquer the spread, you know, and, um, you know, make it a better way, you know, for all of us all. You see what I'm saying? Because, um, you know, um, like I said, you know, the, the, the long-term effect, you know, we don't know. And, they, you know, the CDC couldn't tell us or the chief couldn't tell us because they have no clear knowledge of it. And we, quite frankly, I understand. And I hope you guys understand as well. You know, so, um, yeah, so we're just trying to be more civil and understanding as people. And we also, um, we also could be objective, you know, before we get to the perspective. You know, so, hey, it just... It's just what it is, human nature. You know, we have to question things. You know what I mean? So, yes, guys. So, um, so next year sometime, um, I think the middle of next year, the, um, the vaccine for the, for the kids would be um, in full effect, you know, from what they're saying. You know, according to CNN this morning, they said, um, you know, sometime mid next year, you know, the vaccine for the um, younger kids, you know, will be available. And, um, you know, <laughs> I have two young granddaughters, and, um, you know, I pray for them every day. You know, my daughter Gabby, she went through this, you know, now she went through it. Now she's fine, you know, um, you know, but my daughter went through it as well. So was my daughter's mom. You know, I was lucky enough not to, you know, get the virus, but, you know, get the symptoms. But, you know, because I had the flu shot in my mind, I think that's just my opinion. I think the flu shot kind of helped me to fight it off. So, but anyway, get back to the vaccine. So, yes, guys. So um, by the middle of next year, they should have the vaccine, you know, for the, um, the younger generation, you know, the adolescents, the young kids. But then another thing, another thing that I really worry about before I go, I want to say, is the storage of the vaccine. Because this vaccine, guys, you know, um, it has to store above 100 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? Above 100 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? Our freezers doesn't go that way. You see what I'm saying? Our deep freezers weren't made for that. You know, so now you see a lot of small companies right now who are making these freezers and putting these thermometers on them, making sure they're making sure that they're testing them. You know, so these smaller companies right now are raking in, you know, some dollars, which they should, because they're coming up with, you know, conventional ways, you know, to keep these um, freezers, you know, above 100 degrees, you know, Fahrenheit. You know what I mean? So um, also, what I saw that they also use. You know, it's dry ice, which I remember as a teenager and a youngster growing up, um, the guys that used to sell the ice cream on, on the fudge, you know, that's what they use to keep those things hard, you know, the dry ice. But I didn't know the dry ice, you know, could cause that kind of freeze. But I have to also remember that when I was young, we grab the dry ice and put it in your, in your mouth, it like burn your tongue, basically, you know, or you hold it too much in your hand, you freeze your hand. So you have to dry ice you know, um, is, is a very, you know, conventional way to go to help to keep this, um, you know, um, medicine, um, you know, uh, to um, where it needs to be, to be safe. So, because one of the reasons why I say that is like, I worry about, you know, like the, the Caribbean islands who don't have those kind of capabilities with those um, freezers that you know, are, being, are being built right now and supposed to be distributed, you know, around America. And you know what I mean? The Caribbean doesn't have that kind of um, luxury. So, um, I think in my mind and in my opinion, the Caribbean, they might have to depend on the dry ice, you know, to use it to um, store the vaccines, 
you know, um, so they could keep it at a certain level, so they could administer it, you know, appropriately before, you know, the vaccine expire, you know, in, in, in a low temperature. You see what I'm saying? So that is a big way that I think we're going to see um, coming up 2021, where the dry ice is going to be something coming back big in effect, which they're going to use it as far as a way to um, keep this um, vaccine, you know, to that, you know, below one above 100 um, degrees Fahrenheit. So it could stay that way. So whenever they open it up and they administer it, you know, it's at the right temperature and, you know, you're getting the right amount and the right doses and the quality of vaccine you're supposed to get. You see what I'm saying? So there's a lot of play in emotion um, behind, the, behind the scene that I see that what's going on that, you know, companies and small companies are working together with these big corporations you know, Pfizer and all these companies, how they're going to keep these vaccines, you know, safe. And um, I, so far, you know, I, I think they're being very productive. And uh, we just have to, you know, understand that, you know, a lot of these things, you know, something that just come up on us, you know, um, you know, in almost a year now, you know, and guys, before I end this video, you know, because I always speak it just like I, you know, just I am just who I am. I can't change. For the end of this year, <clears throat> I want to tell you, me personally, I really, really want to, you know, thank nurses, the doctors, you know, first responders. You know what I'm saying? Because when you look at it, really, they put their lives at risk to save our life. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. They put their lives at risk to save our lives. And we heard stories where we, we have lost doctors, you know, nurses. Who were in the field trying to help others and they um you know caught the disease and um it caused their demise and uh you know it's, it, it feels you know it's a bad feeling in my mouth because i said to myself these people could have been home with their family but they chose uh, they choose to be where you know they want to be where which is saving lives you know so go, so goes for the teachers as well you know they dedicate themselves to go to school so they could you know help teach these kids and um, they put their lives at risk so um, for me personally, um, if it's even a pen, I want to give it to a nurse, you know, if it's even a pen or a cup of coffee or, um, you know, some good conversation. Personally, I want to just stop one of them and just, you know, just give them that for their Christmas or, or a few of them, you know, give them that for their Christmas. Because, guys, you know, we also have to remember that, you know, we have to, um, you know, uh, look at others, not just ourselves. You see what I'm saying? And, um, you know, just, 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 just do the right thing and just, you know, in, in a more human way. Because, you know, I mean, when I see the mass amount of stuff that happened this year, collectively, you know, we have to give those people, you know, um, a lot of props, you know, to put their lives at risk, you know, day in, day out. Some of these people are on the job for like a month. They haven't seen their family. And after working, then they have to go in quarantine. You see what I'm saying? So, yes. So, uh, hats off to them. And for the rest of the year, I'm going to be talking about them throughout my videos because, you know what, they deserve it. You see what I'm saying? They do, you know. And, um, hey, the Father put us all here for a reason, man. You know, just remember, chronic pain in a demon, you know, Raymond Nugent coming to you, a.k.a. chronic pain in a demon. You know, the way I spit it, you know, when I talk to you guys, you know, I always come very correct and very, um, you know, truthful, you know, to, my, to the best of my ability and my knowledge. You know, so I thank you guys one more one more time again, you know, for um, taking the time out, you know, to listen to this video. And like I always say before I go, you know, who feels it knows it. I hope you guys have a best week and I'll see you again. Peace.